Crosses, Initiation, Guitar Tabs, and Guitar Lesson. We'll play through all the different sections right at the start here. Afterwards, I'll give you the in-depth explanation for everything. Before we jump into the video, please hit that subscription button. Let's me know that you're enjoying these and I should do more of them. And with no further wait, let's get on into it. So for the main riff here, uh, we'll be in this shape. Uh, it's basically a, a minor shape. It's a C-sharp minor we're going on with here. And we're just kind of picking through this cool like inverted voicing of it. And we'll start here at second fret of the D, come on up to 4A, 4E. Just pick it just like that. And these are kind of you know staccato, little muted notes, so a little palm muting on there, put some dirt on there, sounds good. Um, but yeah, same shape. Just do it twice and then just drop it down a fret. So now we're at like a, a C minor shape. So we got the one, three, and three, and it's the same deal. Pick it the same way, same amount of times. Now a cool slide part, and uh, it's especially cool because in the video you can see him actually using like a lap steel, and it's a nice little touch there. And uh, just a, a handful of notes here, nothing crazy, and I like to do it here on the G string. Um, start at the 6th fret, hit it, slowly slide it up to ninth. Okay, hold it there a moment, then we keep it going to 11. And then we take it down now to 8. And just slide that out. Chorus comes along. And I'm pretty sure he's just playing this kind of higher up on a bass, but uh, we can get a, a nice sound with it too on the guitar. Um, nice little power chord shape here at the 7 on the A, 9 on the D for the E power chord there. Okay, bring it up to 9 and 11. This will all be on A and D string. Down to 7 and 9. 6 and 8. Back to the 7 and 9. And ultimately land here on the A flat power chord at the four on the E, six on the A. And the second time through, we essentially do the same thing, but we just end on a higher octave for that A flat. So instead of hitting it here at the four and six, we'll just take it all the way up here now and hit it at the eleven and thirteen on the A and D. Second part of the chorus is pretty fun. Get to cut loose a little bit here. Uh, I like to just drop it down to this open A power chord here, and we're just going to strum on this eighth note style. And then we add in these fourth frets on the A, about three of them, pull it off for a couple open strums, do that a few times. All right, then we just ride that open A for a while. Do a little scale at the end, which is a... Uh, jump up to G string, here we go, four, two, one, two. All right, and then we finish the chorus. Uh, it goes from like that A power chord shape to, uh, which is more like an A minor shape now. Um, we're gonna pull off the three on the A and just come right back to those open A power chords. All right, but we're gonna start at that three, pull it off to a couple, do that a few times. 
hold on that open A for a little while. Come back to the three and hit that for a handful. Pull it back off to a couple and then pull it back off to a couple more. And then finish by sliding up to the A octave here at the seven on the D and just hang out there for the rest of it. And at the end, we get some nice synth chords just ending it. And it's basically just playing that C sharp minor to the C minor. Thank you. 